In this video we're going to look at how to derive the Breguet range equation. And fundamentally what we're going to start by doing is look at the change in weight. As an aircraft flies it burns fuel therefore the weight decreases. So we can start by saying that dw dt equals minus, because we're reducing the weight, the specific fuel consumption times the thrust times gravity. And if we note the definition of the specific fuel consumption, this is the mass of fuel per unit thrust, that's why we multiply by this T here, and then this is per second, and therefore this equation makes sense, you get the units that you would expect for such a derivative. Let's start with some other stuff we know, we can say that obviously um, speed equals displacement divided by time, rearranging this as you should very easily be able to do. Now we derive this and we get an expression ds equals vdt, rearranging this into a more useful form. So we've got this 1 over dt here. We can say this, 1 over dt um, is equal to v over ds. We can make a nice substitution. So we can say that um, vdw over ds is equal to minus fg t and therefore ds equals v dw by divided by minus f g t. As again none of this is particularly difficult we've just made the substitutions into here and rearranged for ds. Now we can make a useful assumption we can assume that t equals d so thrust is equal to the drag. This is a reasonable assumption when we're in steady level flight. Now watch what happens if we multiply through by W over L. So we get W over L T equals W over L D. Right? This can be rewritten as W L T moving the D in the W round. So D over L W and we know that, for example, lift is one half rho v squared s c l, and for drag it's the same thing but with c d. So of course this is going to cancel when it's divided by all of this. So we're going to be left with w over l t equals c d over c l w. And well, steady level flight. This is a strange trick we're going to use. This is going to be one. Because in steady level flight, weight and lift are going to be the same. That's why it's level flight. All right? So we get that result that T equals CD over CLW. We have an important result down here. So we can play around with this. Okay? And we, by manipulating this, we'll get the result that DS equals VDW over FGW times CL divided by CD. This is an important result. If we integrate this, we can get the range. And I'll just show you how that's done. So let's copy across what we've got before. So we've got DS equals VDW over FGW times CL CD. Right, let's go and do this integration. So we can say that the integral from S1 to S2 of dS equals minus V, I forgot a minus here, V FG times CL over CD. The integral W1 to W2 of dW over W. Now we can switch the order of integration and change the sign. So this is equal to um, minus, so no, minus is gone, you'll see why. CLCD, change the integral from W2 to W1, DW over W, that's why the minus went, we've switched this round. All right, doing the integration, well this integration here is very obvious, it's going to be that. We can put that in there, so we've done the integration back there. 
Okay, so V over F, G, C, L, C, D. This integration, as you should know very well, comes out as natural logarithm W1 minus natural logarithm of W2. This, of course, is ln W1 divided by W2. This is just the rules with logarithms. And well, let's think about this. This is the distance between two points. What's the distance between two points? Well, in this case, it's a range. So range is equal to V over F, G, C, L, C, D, ln w1 over w2 and that is your expression for the Breguet range equation. Not a difficult derivation so that's a very quick run through of one of the possible ways of doing it. There are other ways on the internet. If you're looking at propeller um, it's practically the same derivation just note that the efficiency times the power is equal to the thrust times the velocity which is equal to the drag times the velocity. Work with that assumption and follow the same sort of steps and you'll get the expression for a propeller. Hopefully this derivation has been helpful to you and you now understand exactly where the Breguet range equation comes from and a little bit about why it works, which you can infer from the derivation. Um, and finally, thank you for watching.